Well, good morning, Jenny. Morning. It is good to see you, or at least most of you. Yes. We're trying to follow the mayor's new rules here in the office today. Uh, but for our very first staff spotlight, uh, we were wanting to reach out to you and learn a little bit more about what it is that you do as a member of our staff here at Methodist Temple. So I guess the first question uh, we'll need you to answer is, what is your job at Methodist Temple and how long have you been here? My job here at Methodist Temple is a receptionist. I've been here a little over four years, um, but I tend to do a little bit of everything besides reception work, so keeps it interesting. So as the receptionist in a typical week, if there is a typical week, right? Uh, what would some of your responsibilities be? Well, some are the basic responsibilities that you would think of as answering the phone, greeting people when they come in. Um, we also do mailings to shut-ins and to keep them informed on what's going on and try to keep track of where our members are in the hospital, that kind of thing. And um, we also try to keep track of attendance, although right now with the pandemic, it's been a little bit different. So that's kind of um, been a bit more of a challenge, but those are some of the typical tasks and answering the phone is one of them. So should I go ahead? Go right and ahead. <laughs> okay, so obviously we just saw one of your responsibilities in right. action, but what's a part of your job or one of your responsibilities that most Methodist Temple members might not see or don't know about? Um, I think a big part of it is service to the community. Um, when outsiders come in that maybe aren't members of our congregation, um, we find that they need a listening ear. They may need guidance on agencies that can help them, um, especially with the pandemic right now. People don't have jobs. They may not have food. And so a lot of times it gives us an opportunity to minister to those folks talk to them, let them feel heard, and pray with them. And so that may not be a part of this job that members really realize that goes on, and it's really quite frequently. Um, and, and so that's kind of a blessing that I get, being up front. It's one of the reasons why I say that even for the people on our staff for whom pastor or minister isn't right. in the job description or in their job title, everybody who's working here right. is doing ministry in one way or another. So what's the most enjoyable part of the job for you? What's the thing that gets you most excited to come to work? Well, I love my coworkers, so I'll say that. Um, and I love the support that we get from each other um, and the um, just outpouring and when there's situations in our own family lives, that sort of thing. But one of the things I really love is that I've gained a congregation. Um, so. And what I mean by that is, you know, when we've had situations maybe in our family's lives, things like that, this congregation has been so loving and supportive um, to me. And so that's been a gift back because as much as I've been able to work and serve the congregation, they've shown me the heart of Jesus um, in their expressions and the things they've done as well. So that's a gift of this job. That's really cool. Now, you mentioned, obviously, uh, COVID has just changed everything in our lives, right. including our work lives. Right. And I know that you uh, have two autoimmune diseases, right. which means that you are immunosuppressed in order to Correct. treat that. And right. so during this time of pandemic, are there ways that our congregation can be supportive of you as you try and protect your health? Um, so far, the congregation has been wonderful with that. And um, we have put some things in place that I think of maybe surprise people when they've come into the office. Um, we have plexiglass that cover my front area um, just as a little barrier of protection for not only myself, but also for the members. Um, and then we also have a gate now in the front that kind of keeps people from just roaming around freely so that if there are other coworkers in the area that maybe have taken their mask off just for a minute to get a reprieve, that they're not gonna take a chance. So just wearing that mask and, and just being respectful of each other's space, I think is the most important right now. Okay, well, Jenny, thank you so much for meeting with me today and truly thank you oh. for all of your ministry here. Thank you, <laughs> and we love you guys and we appreciate it.